Come on. Show some signs. Alright. I think we're golden. Yep, we're golden. Hey. So, Doug Zada Rose here. And, well, I figured it was time to show everyone one of the greatest games I know. Wonderful, absolutely amazing. Oh, created by Yut Saito. So, here we are. The ever amazing Sim Tower. I'm uh, literally going to be building a business. I'm just doing a lot of things. So, yeah, I get, what was it? I already spent some of it. How much? Yeah, around two, mil, two million to start. Not bad. Pretty good. Now, the entire premise of this is I want to build something that is awesome and preferably self-sustaining. But, item not available underground. Can I, uh, first floor is for lobby only. Oh, come on. I, I know for a fact I can do this. Come on. Come on. You. This. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, just remember my... You remember what today is? Yeah. Yeah. I sort of want to interrupt your recording. Nah, uh, true. I, not exactly making money here yet, so... Uh, that is a thing. But, what's up? Uh, hi. Okay, apparently this is pandas from somewhere. Oh. Oh, pandas are always good. I have panda mug. <laughs> oh. Panda mug is awesome. Let's see, we'll find out how where this is and how old it is. Oh, what's that? That's what we're talking about. Ah, yes, the questions that need answers. <laughs> that uh, sounds like a little while ago. <laughs> Just a little while. Hmm. There we go. And I want one of these. Do that. Oh, yeah. Now that's working. There we go. So, yeah. Sim Tower. I'm literally building a business tower. So, now, yeah, right. right now, that's. Focus. Okay. Uh, let's go to some more office. Okay, a little more over like that. And yeah, as you can see, there are some rules. You saw the loading. You've seen how much actual effort. Um. Yeah, goes towards some of these things. Ah. Population 24. I'm starting to have people. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I'm trying some new stuff in terms of building. That's a good way to experiment and learn. Uh, I don't suppose this is going to work. It did work. Excellent. Uh, yeah, this is the one I want. Yeah. Right now I got it in slow. Because I want to build. I want to get things established. I also want to, like, try some things, because I've done this a few times, and... Yeah, starting a tower is always super, super tricky. Hmm. Yeah, now I want this all the way at the edge. And you here. Hmm. Need to expand the floors. Yeah, uh, nothing tells you some of the stuff that I'm working with here. Just kind of need to figure it out. Because, uh, that's how it goes. These old games, 
They didn't always think about tutorial. Their sense of tutorial was you have an instruction manual. That's here. That's here. This. 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 More of that. Nope. Gotta expand the lobby. Lobby goes out here. Yeah, let's just make it bigger. But, yeah, especially when you're like just starting, I will say, for Sim Tower, it is good to start slow. I'm also experimenting with this whole. I'll we'll have like just an empty layer so there's no real noise going from the restaurants and office up to the uh, condos that I'm building and selling. Let's move this over here. Ooh, that's a pretty. Oh, yes, I got a bun. She's doing the lounge. How much I got to go? Oh, that's something I'm forgetting to do. Install stairs. Gotta install stairs if you've got like and stuff. There we go. That's that the other. Let's turn on fast mode, see what happens. <sighs> turn on fast mode and just let things run a little bit. Oh. And a restaurant. <laughs> so I couldn't get the restaurant until I. Uh, the elevator going down there. And I like building subterranean. Subterranean is good for restaurants. Yeah, restaurants seriously. Yeah, restaurants are seriously about the same size as condo. Hmm. Go figure that one out. Well, I floor out to here and out to here. Oh yeah, something they don't tell you while you're doing this. That while you were doing these things. Man. Time just keeps marching on. There is no pause. There is no interruption. Can't be one. <laughs> also surprised I've built uh, this much of a tower and I only have one elevator. Usually I got like three or four at this point. Let's see here. D -d 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 -d. No, no, I don't want to start building stuff in that layer, as tempting as it is. Because... Uh, it's noisy there. I don't want to subject people to that. I want to subject people to that. Now, I am setting up to make some money with these condos. You see, until they are accessible, no, um, they, uh, huh, yeah, no transportation connected. So, let's jack up the prices on all these, because this is the top floor. I'm going to make sure you get some premium quiet in our housing section. It means there's going to be a lot of empty space. But, hey, nothing wrong with that. It works. It works well. Okay. All right, now we're getting some transport connected. Okay, I should probably expand the elevator up. Yep, as soon as I put the elevator up one floor. Do I already have access to... No, no I do not. That's annoying that I don't already have access to the service elevator. So, the entire goal of this game is build tower, make money. Now watch the sims running around like cute adorable little ants. Love that part. I'll just let it run and watch them. 
especially in fast mode, things get good. Okay, got plenty going on. Lots of activity. Okay, so got a good start. Not really making much money outside of like building the condos and then selling them. That's how it goes, that's how it is. But condos are also the best way to increase my population. Why do I care about population? Population is what enables stars. The more stars I have, the more stuff is available to me. Now let us expand the lobby plenty. Massive lobby. Hmm. I'm focusing on one direction. No, let's keep going in this direction. Ah, oh, what a long tower. The longest tower. Don't worry about tall later. Now I want it wide. That gives me more to work with. So, offices. Get some ching ching for renting places. Offices don't really complain about offices. They don't get a ton of income from them, it's kind of annoying. They, uh, yeah, get a little money when they start renting, and then every quarter after that, uh, uh -huh, I get more money. Okay, so now I want stairs. Go about here. And then, boom. 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 And uh, here, yep, every restaurant gets its own staircase. Staircases for everyone. Uh, I'm starting to run low on money. Uh, need to do some things. Yeah. Oh. And yeah. Apparently the Sims can be kinda lazy and a little dumb. So gotta be sure to set up and cater to them properly. So let's drag this down a little. Can't see what I'm doing that well. I've gone far to the right. Should work on the left word. Okay. Well, in a little bit. Oh, only have 3,000 bucks. That's uh, not even enough to buy a set of stairs. Hmm. Huh. Well, let's see how things are doing. Those are brand new. Well, yeah, it's high. I wanted to make some serious profit off that. Okay, edit. Okay, evaluation's looking, yeah. What I'd expect is, uh, yeah, got new things in the works. And I'm now broke. So, only one thing you can do in this game, then you use up all your money. Alright, it's already in fast mode. Alright, I'm gonna pet a bunny. For, uh, yeah, for the next while. I think I'm gonna throw a movie on here. Yeah, somewhere on the screen. There's gonna be a bunny. She will be eating apple peel. Because she is that spoiled of a wonderful little bunny. What are we doing? Uh, oh, wow. There's, there's some of those methods. Oh. Ooh. Yes, I want two star rating. Uh, okay, that really mucked with things as I was doing it. Okay, build that out to there. There we go. Uh, a little more there. A little more there. A lot more here. A bit more here. Wow. 
Okay, finally I got a good setup going because that just made some serious bang without really putting any true effort in. Okay. So, gotta do some things. One of those is going to be in. Oh, wait. I don't have the money for that, do I? Uh, tap that. That is a hundred thousand. Uh, thirty-four thousand. Mm, one set for the housekeeping, fifty thousand. And, uh, hotel room is twenty thousand. Restaurants, fast food restaurants are a hundred thousand. Okay, not a whole ton I can do with things. So, let's, uh, get some stairs. Gonna want a good number of stairs. Even in uh, places where I don't really have stuff yet. Not enough money for construction. Oh, yeah, four grand. Not really enough. Eh, that's how it goes, I suppose. Just gotta wait. So, go with me, little Bonnie. Hello, Where's my bun. Little Bonnie. Where are they? Little Bonnie. 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 Little why do I... I only have 20 grand. Oh, no, that's not 20 grand, that's 2 grand. That's uh, not gonna get me anything. Yep, and it's time for waiting. Come on. Come on. You, uh... Yeah, you, um, gonna get some money soon? Uh, money, 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 ain't it funny in a rich man's world? Yeah, man. At some point, you'll... No, I'll get the profits from the restaurants, right? Then I can finish installing the stairs? I really want to finish installing the stairs. Twenty-nine. Okay. Place over transportation arms. There, are you happy? Okay. Alright, uh, what's it for a condo? No, office. I filled up on offices unless I... Start building them on the empty floor. Or a floor, I got other things going on. on. Uh, how, how's the evaluation of uh, the stuff going? Alright. Looks good. I'm seeing red. Okay, I'm seeing where, red where I put red. Great. <sighs> yep. Yep, so much doing. Okay. Yeah, come on. Yep, such a great game. Such a fun and wonderful game. Fun and wonderful. Uh, come on. Oh, wait for the end of the work day. That's when my restaurants give me their money. Now we need to wait a whole nother day. Ugh.
Uh, I'll be back in a couple minutes. <sighs> gotta wait. You gotta wait. You gotta wait.
trying to make sure that his tower is making money. Well, okay, he knows his tower is making money. The big problem there is making sure it's genuinely at a good point in money. Okay. So, all right, I got some money. Ready to make money? You spend money. Oh, wow, we got that all, all the way out there already, huh? Okay. Uh... Next steps would be what? Uh, yeah, use uh, 100,000 for a security office. These things are very, very important. Now, once your tower gets to this rating, there's always a chance someone's gonna call in and make a bomb threat. They like 20 grand or they blow something up. There we are, security. Security established. Now, I want a need service that... No, this is like step one if I want to start doing this in my tower. If you want to do the hotel thing, you need the housekeeping staff. Without the housekeeping staff, you got nothing. Now, for them to actually do some, you gotta give them a service elevator. There we go. That's set up the way I want it to. Switch this over to here. And no, no, yes, yes. All right. All the hotel rooms, except that one. There's a bad hotel room. That hotel room shall not be there. Shall not remain there. Yep. 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 Next. Next. Nah. What? Not enough money for construction. Oh wait, how many did I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Alright, that's looking good. Okay. So, I need money. The only way I get money is when profits are made. Now, the hotel rooms are going to make that a little more regular. But, you know, right now, it's not really... Okay, it might not be 100% enough. What I'm after, because yeah, I want the hotels. Yeah, the hotel rooms need to be self sustaining, for them to actually be interesting. But, uh, uh, yep, get a little closer. Yeah, that's about my microphone's position a smidge. So, yeah. Now, now I'm back to the typical problem I have. I did all this building. I did a smidge more construction. I am out of money. For me to do more, I need more money. Now, I can go wander around for a couple minutes, or I can read. Well, okay. I'm going to be right back as if I'm a read. I need water. It's easier to read if you have water. Right back. Grab it. Keep them company.
Alright, I've got water. I've got a rabbit. I got a book. And only about 50 thou. 54 thou. Uh, what was it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, oh, 11. 12. 13. Alright. Now, 13 is probably about as far as that's gonna go. Let's take a moment. Build some stairs. One more from a good measure. Okay, so. Now, fun, is, fun and enjoyable as this game is, there's a lot of waiting you need to do, regardless. Now, I could sit here and read quietly, and especially since I don't have the camera on, no one would be any wiser. But that's not fun. No, it's not as fun. Now, something I have learned is it's always good to share your loves and passions. And make sure you've got water on him when you're going to do a lot of talking. And there's going to be a lot of talking. So, uh, I grabbed a book, which is, well, mentally a book behind in the read-along I'm participating in. This is Solace by Gail Carriger, a wonderful novelist. I've, at this point, read numerous novellas, short stories, and series of hers. Right. Solus is part of the Paracel Protectorate. It's book one. Let's see. Solus. Ah, here we are. Solus, changeless, blameless, heartless, and timeless. It's also then converted into a manga. Uh, I haven't read that. Uh, let's see. Oh, graphic novels by Yen Press. Then there's the Finishing School series. And it's another set of five books, all along with at least one short story. Well, a novella. And then there's the series that follows it. That, uh, Prudence. Uh, what is it? Prudence, Reticence don't know if anything's really... I mean... Wait. No, I'm, I'm forgetting about a book. Anyway, so I'm rambling, at least a little, because it's a very good book series. Oh, hold on. Before I start reading, I have money to spend. Yep, yeah, that's set on stairs, not on a hotel room. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There we go. Uh, do I have enough for... Yes. Condos are 80. So, drop you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Okay, well, I want to save up some money to do more stuff, namely expansion. Now, I, I, I need to follow particular protocols for expansion. So, you, you, okay, I need more lobby, I need significantly more lobby, let's take the lobby to the max. Oh, no, let's put the wrong things on the wrong floor. Okay. 
Okay. Two standard elevator. Not enough money for construction. All right. Well, then I need to wait and get a big old chunk of money. So, uh, before I got distracted, actually playing the game. Gale Carrier, Solus. I have this book in front of me from the Parasol Protectorate. I'm only planning to read like a chapter. Chapter 1, in which parasols prove useful. Miss Alexia Tabati, oh, Tarabati, there we go, was not enjoying her evening. Private balls were never more than meddling amusements for spinsters, and Miss Tarabati was not the kind of spinster who could garner even that much pleasure from the event. To put the pudding in the puff, she had retreated to the library, her favorite sanctuary in any house, only to happen upon an unexpected vampire. She glared at the vampire. For his part, the vampire seemed to feel their encounter had improved his ball experience immeasurably. For there she sat, without escort, in a low-necked ball gown. In this particular case, what he did not know could hurt him. For Miss Alexia had been born without a soul, which, as any decent vampire of good bloody knew, made her a lady to avoid most assiduously. When he moved toward her, darkly shimmering out of the library shadows with feeding fangs ready. Oh, yet, yet he moved toward her, darkly shimmering out of the library shadows with feeding fangs ready. However, the moment he touched Miss Terabati, he was suddenly no longer darkly doing anything at all. He was simply standing there, the faint sounds of string quartet in the background as he foolishly fished about with his tongue, her fangs unaccountably mislaid. Miss Terabati was not in the least surprised. Solusness always neutralized supernatural abilities. She issued the vampire a very dour look. Certainly, most daylight folk wouldn't pay her for anything less than a standard English prig. But, had this man uh, not even bothered to read he, the vampire's official abnormality roster for London and its greater environs? The vampire recovered his equanimity quickly enough. He reared away from Alexia, knocking over a nearby tree tea trolley. Physical contact broken, his fangs reappeared. Clearly not the sharpest of prongs, he then darted forward from the neck, like a serpent, diving in for another chomp. I say, said Alexia to the vampire, we have not even been introduced. Miss Terabati had never actually had a vampire try to bite her. She knew one or two by reputation, of course, and was friendly with Lord Akaldama, who was not friendly with Lord Akaldama. But no vampire had ever actually attempted to feed on her before. So Alexia, who abhorred violets, was forced to grab Miss Grant by his nostrils, a delicate and therefore painful area, and shove him away. He stumbled over the fallen tea trolley, lost his balance in a manner astonishingly graceless for a vampire, and fell to the floor. He landed right on top of a plate of treacle tart. Oh dear. <sighs> Miss Terabati was most distressed by this. She was particularly fond of treacle tart and had been looking forward to consuming that precise plateful. She picked up her parasol. It was terribly tasteless for her to be carrying a parasol while at an evening bowl, but Miss Terabati rarely went anywhere without it. It was of a style certainly of her own devising, a black freely confection with purple satin pensies sewn about brass hardware and buckshot in its silver tip. She whacked the vampire right on top of the head, 
and with it as he tried to extract himself from his newly intimate relations with the tea trolley. The buckshot gave the brass parasol just enough heft to make it oh, to make a deliciously satisfying thunk. Manners, instructed Miss Terabati. The vampire howled in pain and sat back on the treacle tart. Alexia Terabati followed up her advantage with a vicious prod between the vampire's legs. Wait, what? Oh, you too. <laughs> Seriously, you too. <sighs> Matter what I'm doing, I always have to be ready to play referee with our pets. Okay, expand things upwards just a little bit, and then some. Huh. Much is needed to be done. Aw. You can't do anything more. Yeah, I only have 40,000. There's only so much you can do. I suppose... I do apologize for the interruption. Well, I'll just need to wait some more. Where were we? Uh, ah, manners, the vampire held in pain. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, his howl was quite a lot higher in pitch, and he crumpled into a fetal position. While Miss Terabati was a proper young English woman, aside from not having a soul and being half Italian, she did spend quite a bit more time than most young ladies riding and walking and was therefore unexpectedly strong. Miss Terabati leapt forward. As much as one could leap forward in full triple layer underskirts, draped bustle, uh, and ruffled taffeta top skirt. I do apologize, I rarely pronounce these words aloud. Out and bent over the vampire. He was clutching his indelicate bits and writhing about. Now, the pain would not last long enough, given his supernatural healing ability, but it, it hurt most decidedly in the interim. Alexia pulled out, uh, pulled a long wooden hair stick out of her elaborate coffee. Blushing at her own temerity, she ripped open his shirt front which was cheap and overly starched, and poked at his chest right over the heart. Miss Tarabati sported a particularly large and sharp hair stick. With her free hand, she made certain to touch his chest, as only physical contact would nullify his supernatural abilities. Desist that horrible noise immediately, she instructed the creature. The vampire quit his squealing and, w and lay perfectly still. His beautiful blue eyes watered slightly as he stared fixedly at the wooden hair stick. Or, as Alexia liked to call it, hair steak. Explain yourself, Miss Terabati demanded, increasing the pressure. A thousand apologies, the vampire looked confused. Who are you? Tentatively, he reached for his fangs. Gone. To make her position perfectly clear, Alexia stopped touching him, though she kept her sharp hair stick in place. His fangs grew back. He gasped in amazement. What are you? I thought you were a lady alone. It would be my right to feed if you were left this carelessly unattended. Please, I did not mean to presume. He lisped through his fangs, real panic in his eyes. Alexia, finding it hard not to laugh at the list, said, There is no cause for you to be so overly dramatic. Your high queen will have told you of my kind. She returned her hand to his chest once more. The vampire's fangs retracted. She looked at him as though she had... Oh, he looked at her... Uh, as though she had suddenly sprouted whiskers and hissed at him. Miss Terabati was surprised. Supernatural creatures, be they vampires, werewolves, or ghosts, owed their existence to an overabundance of soul, an excess that refused to die. 
Most knew that others like Miss Taravati existed, born without any soul at all. The Estimo uh, yeah. Bureau of Supernatural Registration, Burr, are a division of Her Majesty's Civil Service called Her Ilk Perternatural. Yeah. Alexia thought the term nicely dignified. What vampires called her was less complimentary. After all, perternaturals had once hunted them, and vampires had long memories. Normal daylight persons were kept in the dark, so to speak. But any vampire worth his blood should know a perternatural's touch. This one's ignorance was untenable, Alexia said. As though to a very small child, I am a perternatural. Vampire looked embarrassed. Of course you are, he agreed, obviously still not quite comprehending. Again, my apologies, lovely one. I am overwhelmed to meet you. You are my first, he stumbled the word, much like I am, perternatural, he frowned. Not supernatural. Not natural. Of course. How foolish of me not to see the dichotomy. His eyes narrowed in craftiness. He was now studiously ignoring the hair stick and looking tenderly up into Alexia's face. Miss Tarabati knew full well her own feminine appeal. Oh, the kindest compliment her face could ever hope to garner was exotic, never lovely. Not that it had ever received either. Alexia figured that vampires, like all predators, were at their most charming when cornered. Oh wow, it's already six pages in. Uh, okay, I got some money. Let's invest some money. Oh! And I was not paying attention. Later, can stay. Swap that to here. Um, no, I'm not gonna be able to get that room. What the? All right. Well. <sighs> Well, I thought I'd read more, but six pages is more than enough given that it took me about 20 minutes to read. So, this has been Doug Zeta Rose. Please, if you enjoyed that little sample, check out Gail Carriger's Solus uh, and the rest of the Parasol Protectorate series and the, and the Custard Protocol. Yeah. And the Finishing Skull... Ah, <laughs> The Finishing School series, as well as uh, if you are 18 and older uh, and enjoy a bit of erotica, there is always the San Andreas Shifters. So, ah, okay, dropping much of the uh, facade. Honestly, that's a very good book series. It's not, this isn't a great game, but hey. Happy April Fools. I hope you've enjoyed what you could stand to watch here. I certainly hope you enjoyed the reading because that's a wonderful book series. And yeah, the Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke will resume Friday along with everything else. Take care, everyone.